Hey guys, Mr. Rupik here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the release of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for iOS. So this game will be compatible with the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, so no need to worry about which specific device you have. It will be available on each and every one, but in this video, I'm going to be covering the actual release of the game and when we can get our hands on it and start playing around with it for ourselves, the price of the actual game, and what the difference is between the mobile version that is soon to be released and the actual version that came out however long ago on Xbox and PlayStation. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. The release date for this game has been said by many sources to be midnight of December 11, 2013, which is tonight, so it's extremely close. Anywhere from two and a half to three and a half hours, I don't really know, because in the article that I read about it, it did not specify which time zone it was talking about, so I'm going to give it a good guess of about two and a half to three and a half maybe a little bit more uh, hours. So, expect it tonight though, so it's extremely close. So, if you happen to be watching this video, you know, a day or two after I've actually uploaded this, it should be out on the App Store and you guys can go download it right away. Now, before you download it, you might want to know the price, and it's going to be priced at $6.99, which is actually $2 more than what we've seen on the previous Grand Theft Auto games on the App Store. Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City were both priced at $4.99, I believe, at the release, and they are still priced at that to this day. So, $2 more. I think it is a bit bigger game, and it's actually a lot more popular. So, people really thought that this Grand Theft Auto was something fun, something special, and I've heard, I've actually not played it for myself, but I've heard that it was... Uh, that it is comparable to Grand Theft Auto 5, maybe not graphics-wise, uh, but, you know, you can compare how much fun everybody had with it, and I've heard that it could be one of the best Grand Theft Autos ever. Once again, I did not actually play it on Xbox or PlayStation, so I really don't know. If you guys are big Grand Theft Auto fans, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So, let's go ahead and move on into what the actual difference is between the mobile and the Xbox slash PlayStation version. So obviously you're going to see some of the touch controls you've seen with the previous iOS Grand Theft Auto releases. So that's just going to be one of the main things. But I've also heard that they are improving some of the textures a little bit and they've actually added a bit more vibrant colors. So it's going to be a little bit nicer actually. You know, maybe not something you'll notice hardly at all, but something uh, they actually put a little bit more work in. instead of a completely direct pour, they've actually changed it up just a bit. And I, I do like how they've put a little bit of work into the change for the mobile device. Now, if you guys are on Android, don't worry. This is not, you know, not completely excluding you because Android slash Windows slash I don't know what other, um, you know, actual OSs is going to be supporting, but Android and Windows Phone will be out extremely soon. So don't worry about it being a super long wait after iOS. It should be out extremely soon. So... No worries there. Should be out definitely before December is over. I'm not 100% sure on the actual release date. I don't know if there is one at the moment. But I'm going to be talking about iOS because that's what I have. I have iPad and iPhone. So that is pretty much all. This game was actually released in New Zealand today, earlier today. So that's a little bit weird. I'm not exactly sure why that, that New Zealand got the special deal of getting it early. But I don't know. I don't know. Something... Something with New Zealand. But yeah, th this has been pretty much all the information that I know about the game at the moment. So, once again, two and a half to four and a half hours, this game will be released, ready on the App Store, so you guys can download and play. I'm really excited for this game because I've heard so many good f reviews about it being so fun and really enjoyable to play. So, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to grab it for $6.99, which is a bit expensive, but you can compare it to the price of Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is also worth the seven dollars you have to pay for it as well so once again looking forward to it i hope you guys learned something from today's video if you did please do leave a like and i'm also sorry about the little bit of late upload tonight this was really the only time i had to record but that is it thank you guys for tuning in once again please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not already let me know what you think of the game or the release date and whatever down in the comment section below i'll read up on that so once again Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful night.